don't stress about the market crash. Just don't, don't, don't stress about it. Be smart, watch this video. Hit it! What's up everybody, Mark Yonsich here with Active Duty Passive Income. Dang, it's been a long time since I've done a YouTube video. This is so exciting. I'm so happy to get back in the seat here in my studio garage and uh, talk about real estate, talk about wealth, talk about financial freedom for the military community. So this video is all about the market crash. What happens if the next market crashes? Spoiler alert, me, my team, the Active Duty Passive Income community at large, is not stressing about it. And I'm gonna explain why in this video. I'm also gonna explain how to get your foot in the door with real estate, how to get your first property, what the best way to do that is. I'm also gonna explain the three ways to help you get a successful property, to give you confidence and the education to get started and start building streams of income. I am very excited. Hey, and if this is your first time watching our channel or learning about real estate and you find this valuable, consider giving us a little comment, a like, or a subscribe. It is a donation. Think of it that way. It is a fantastic donation to helping us grow so that we can impact more service members and their families, or really anybody that watches our channel. All right, without further ado, here we go. The reason why I am personally not worried about the next market crash is because I did not invest for appreciation. Now hear me out. What that means is the traditional model of investing in real estate is that people look at it like, hey, if I buy this property and it was $200,000, hopefully after a bunch of years go by, it'll be worth maybe $300,000. And then I'll sell and then voila, I've made some money. Maybe, you know, after expenses, maybe $80,000. Oh, by the way, don't forget taxes. So maybe a little bit less. That is a traditional way that people think about when of, of real estate investing. There's also flipping houses, which is a fantastic way to money to make money, but it's not what I'm talking about, okay? What active duty passive income is talking about, we're talking about investing from the perspective of buying and holding for cash flow. So I'm gonna say that again. Buy and hold investing for cash flow. We wanna capture all of the layers of awesomeness all right, all the layers of monetization of profit. Oh, you both have layers. That a rental property can bring. And the first and foremost, the most important one is cash flow. What cash flow is, it's basically if you buy a rental property and after paying all the expenses on it, it still leaves a sliver of cash coming to you, like a check in the mail or an ACH deposit getting just dumped into your account, that is cash flow. It's basically the net, net, net profit after everything's taken care of and your mind is at ease, that is cash flow. Hey, I almost forgot to add this into the video, so I'm gonna slice it in here real quick. The reason why cash flow is so important, and here's the zinger, is it allows you to not care or to basically forget about the value of your home. I mean, of course we all want our rental properties to appreciate, but my livelihood, my lifestyle, and me paying for my expenses is not tied to the market or to the appreciation of my home. So even if, hear me out here, even if my rental properties go down to zero dollars in value, if it's still renting and still making the positive cash flow that I needed to because I bought it in a good market with good stable job growth and population growth, which I do every single time because I'm smart about it, then I'll be fine. And it is making my lifestyle better just like I intended it to. All right, now back to the video. And the way it works is I'm gonna go through a really quick back of the napkin type analysis. There's two steps to it, okay? First step is you wanna create a rule of thumb in your area. Generally speaking, in most secondary tertiary markets, so not like the super big cities, uh, a good rule of thumb is the 1% rule. And all it means is once you figure out something is 1% rule, and I'll explain that in a second, it means that you you know, you should probably dig in a little further and do further analysis. Now, the 1% rule is very simple. All it is is if the rent you could get potentially for this property is about 1% of the purchase price of that property, then it has a good rent to price ratio and it's worth looking into further. This property has value. It has value. The next step, once you've decided like, okay, once you did, did that little litmus test, you, you take it a step further and you do a regular full-blown analysis. The steps are the following. 
principal, interest, taxes, insurance, property management, maintenance, and vacancies. Now for the veteran real estate investors out there in maintenance, I'm kind of capturing ordinary maintenance, uh, you know, capital expenditures, and also some reserves. All right. But for the most part, all of that takes care of any worries that you won't be able to pay for your property. I mean, barring some crazy disaster, but even then you've got insurance. Right, and you have some reserves. You have you're accounting for vacancies. You're accounting for the whole loan. You're accounting for paying for a property manager, so it's hands off, and you don't have to answer for the phone for a broken toilet. Oh, what's wrong with the toilet? Look, clock. You've got all that handled. You can sleep peaceably at night, and so now, this this property is an asset, and it's bringing money into your pocket every single month. That is the goal. That the goal is that you're able to do the one percent rule, then then do the the quick analysis, figure out if it is going to produce money after all those expenses. So if it if the rent is I don't know two thousand dollars for example, and all the expenses are costing you fifteen hundred dollars, that's five hundred dollars in your pocket every single month. Now imagine having I don't know ten of those. That's five thousand dollars in your pocket every single month. Okay, that is what ADPI is all about. We're about creating legacy wealth through real estate investing by focusing on buying, holding for cash flow. Stomp, stomp, clap, stomp, clap. We're only gonna buy and hold if it's cash flowing. That is the objective. All right, so how do you get into this world? How do you get into real estate? How do you get your foot in the door? All right, first things first. We have an amazing benefit and it's called the VA loan. All right, if you haven't, used it and there's millions of veterans and their families that have not used it and it's very very sad this is the best wealth building tool in america if you haven't used it you should definitely continue listening and look into getting started the va loan is basically the ability to buy your primary residence for zero out of pocket i know you've probably heard that before but seriously you can walk away from the closing table with a zero coming out of your pocket the amazing thing about it is that even though it's not an investment loan, it's not meant to buy you rental properties, since we're in the military, you move a lot, it is a fantastic way if you have the foresight, if you think about the numbers in advance, and if you plan on moving and renting it out, it can become a rental property and be a phenomenal first like toe dip into this whole real estate world. It'll be your foot in the door. Foot in the door. You're gonna do the similar calculation. You're gonna figure out you know, principal interest, taxes, insurance, property management, maintenance, and vacancies. If you account for all of that two, three years after you move from that location, will it cash flow? You know, will it produce money every month? If the answer is yes, then buy that sucker, move into the house, do your do your time at that duty station, and then now you have an amazing asset that's potentially appreciating, that's getting you that cash flow that's almost tax-free cash flow by the way and somebody's paying down that loan and all these other amazing benefits i call them layers of the cake that are just phenomenal here's the other part of that foot in the door here's how you can sweeten the deal a little more we call it military house hacking at active duty passive income we actually wrote a book if you go to amazon look up military house hacking you can get it there for really cheap or you can download it for free from our website, activitypassiveincome.com slash resources. Anyway, what military house hacking is all about, or house hacking in general, the concept is, is that when you buy a home, is that you're able to rent out storage space or rooms to other individuals and basically have that either partially or completely cover your mortgage so that you're living for free. Basically, you could be potentially pocketing your entire BAH and saving up for another rental property or another opportunity or a vacation or whatever, because now that money is yours and it's not going towards paying for your house. If you want to sweeten the deal even further, you can actually get more than just a single family property. You could actually get a duplex or a triplex or a fourplex. It's basically like four houses put together right next to each other, four separate doors, four separate families can live in this you could live in one and have the other three families pay you to live in the other three. And that could potentially cover your entire mortgage for the entire building and then some. So I had a friend at, um, in Pensacola, he had a three bedroom house. He lived in one, he rented out the other two rooms to two other flight school students. And 
his mortgage was completely paid for. And actually, I think he was making a couple hundred dollars extra every single month. So now he's making a couple hundred dollars extra and the BH was going into his pocket and he was able to save up to do the things he wanted. He was a big skydiver and he lived a, I mean, his lifestyle was that of a rank or two higher without the same expenses. It was fantastic. But he was actually smart. He was rolling that into future investments as well. So that's that's the whole point is, is right is to get your foot in the door and to already start thinking about the next steps. So again, house hacking with the VA loan is bar none, the best way to get your foot in the door. Sometimes it's not for everybody. If you don't want to house hack as you don't want to share, you know, walls with somebody or, or share rooms, that's fine. You can at least get a smart primary residence, your smart home for you and your family, and then just turn it into a rental property when you PCS done. Awesome. Now, Let's talk about the three things you need to do or you need to understand really to make sure that your first property or your next property is successful. All right. So number one is you need to have an awesome real estate agent. So you need to pick a good market, but once you, and, and then you need to find a real estate agent that will be able to kind of maneuver that market with you and help you pick out the best spots, the best homes that meet your criteria, good boots on the ground real estate agent will definitely be able to help you out. Okay. So that's step number one. Step number two, you have to have an awesome lender. You have to have a lender that understands the VA loan or can understand all the other loan options you might need if you've already used your VA loan, or if there's some kind of intricate situation you're trying to pull off, maybe some renovations, maybe some constructions, who knows? The options are almost unlimited. And if you have a good lender, they'll give you They'll, they'll be able to lay them all out there and they'll be able to discuss them with you to make sure that you get the most bang for your buck so that essentially the cash flow potential for your investment is as high as possible. It's critical. And then the agent and the lender, they need to be a dynamic duo. They need to work well together. They need, and you know, at ADPI, we like them to be investment minded and we like them to have a military background. That's why we created our whole, our own network. And we, and we have a branch of awesome lenders to help our service members in our community get awesome investment properties. All right. The third thing though, third thing is running the numbers. And I talked about this earlier, principal interest, taxes, insurance, property management, maintenance, and vacancies. You need to be able to run the numbers. Your real estate agent needs to be able to run the numbers. Your lender needs to be able to run the numbers. You guys need to be able to do this together and be on the same page. Those are the three things. If you are able to do that, you can sleep peacefully and know that everything I mean, if it doesn't work out, at least you tried your best, right? Not every single PCS, not every single duty station is going to pan out perfectly, but you'll at least be able to put your best foot forward. You'll be educated. You'll have a good team and you'll be able to make it happen. Thanks for watching.